Well, an amazing miracle in Mexico for Michigan man. He was on a vacation when his class ring slipped off and sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Uh, the ring going missing in Playa del Carmen, a scuba diver from Arizona, then spotting it, returning it to its rightful owner in Southgate. This ring has made quite the journey home, and 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast takes us through the big reunion. It was a simple Facebook post, not even 10 days old, that united two complete strangers who finally made an important connection after getting more than 5,000 shares. I worked so hard for it, and I just, that was my gift to myself, so it meant a lot. Gary Franklin of Southgate is talking about his college class ring. He graduated with a degree in finance from U of M Dearborn while juggling a full-time job and two kids. The work that I put in during that time, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy because it was, it was tough. Earlier this month, he was on spring break in Mexico celebrating his daughter's senior year of high school. While snorkeling, his class ring fell off his finger. And I could feel it slipping off my finger. And by the time I made a, a fist or tried to clench it to stop it, it was already off my finger. Through his goggles, Gary quickly lost sight of the ring as it sunk in the Gulf of Mexico, likely gone forever. We decided to do a little snorkel trip and go out on the catamaran. And uh, lo and behold, it turned into a, a treasury discovery. But luckily for Gary, Jared Raymond of Phoenix is a trained scuba diver who happened to be snorkeling in the same spot later that week when something caught his eye. It was probably about 15 feet of water, and I saw it glimmering. I didn't know what it was until I, I got it and uh, went down and grabbed it, and I was like, holy cow, this is someone's class ring. I see it on your hand right now. How does it feel to have it uh, back? Oh, man, that's oh, it's a beautiful thing. After posting about the ring on Facebook, somehow Jared and Gary connected. The ring had just arrived in the mail this week and is now firmly where it belongs. It's, it's good that it's still some really good-hearted people. To be able to get that back to him was uh, pretty, pretty, it made me feel good. It actually gives me chills talking about it. Now, Jared says his father also lost his class ring back in the 60s, and he's hoping one day that someone else finds that ring and returns the favor. I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.